Hi, this is Richard Keller, and I'm going to uh, do the Milestone 8 demo of the, my game Overclock. Um, so as you can see, the menus look a bit different. I tried to go for um, using one of the backgrounds and one of the packs I was using repeatedly. So uh, the credit screen is not finished. I'll have to update it some more, but it looks this way now, too. Um, and then I added... Uh, as you can see, I added three additional levels, um, and one of them is highlighted yellow, number five, or level five, because um, that one plays a, a bit differently. It has a, a bit different rules. Um, so I'll go over that soon. Um, this is a level select screen now. Um, yeah, kind of similar to the other pages. Um, I think it matches the style of some of the art assets, uh, the HUD assets, uh, a little better. Um, and so again, this is uh, an updated um, instructions page. Uh, I reworded the uh, the top description a bit. Um, I found that when uh, doing playtesting, people didn't want to read through the whole thing, so I'm kind of still thinking this is a bit wordy, but it explains everything. Um, I also have, you know, offense and defense below commando and trooper and then power-ups uh, instead of power converters or power generators or something like that um, with place troopers next to these just to kind of, if you wanted a quick uh, description of what they are, what to do with them, um, it's there for you if you don't want to read all the instructions. Uh, so this is the interactive tutorial. This is one of the items on my my list or one of the issues I had. So um, basically it instructs you to move the trooper to the lane with the alien to stop it. Um, if you don't uh, and it reaches the black part over here, um, the game is just over and you retry the level as if it were a regular level. Um, I don't want to go through all the scenarios because the video would be kind of long, but that's what happens. Um, also, the uh, end game options are uh, completed now, so that it would be complete with those. Um, okay, so this on this one, I made the um, red power converter uh, immovable. So I'm trying to drag it now. I can't. Uh, you you have to drag the trooper in here to uh, kill the alien, and it's basically giving you, you know, bit first instruction was these are the basic. Um, game rules, uh, you know, put the, the troop over here and it'll fire, um, and afterwards an in, in interaction with the power converter, which I can now move because the tutorial has ended. Um, I changed the icon for the gears to a dollar sign. I thought it was kind of, at least in the States, pretty universally recognizable. So hopefully that will... Also, it doesn't have the, the same outline that looks like a button. Hopefully that will um, resolve some of the issues that I uh, was worried about last time. The icon button or the uh, info button is still here and um, I changed a bit of the wording on here just after talking with a few people. Uh, most of this is the same though. So at the end of the game um, we'll see I haven't updated that runner at the top yet, but I'll, I'll do that next milestone. Um, at the end of the game, we'll see the end game options, which was the second um, issue on my list of things to do for milestone eight. Um, and we'll see again. I I won't go through all the options because taking doing that would be a long time, but I'll explain what happens uh, through each option. It should be pretty pretty easy to recognize what happens though. So almost done at the end of the level here. There we go. So this looks a bit different. It looks a little bit like the info screen. It's not as out of place as the you win and, and or success and failure. I forget what the other ones were. Uh, but you get the um, you get options at the bottom level select or next level. Uh, level select does the same thing as the back button, so we'll do next level and it immediately strikes up level two and there you're brought into it. So that's a bit nicer. It doesn't break the game flow for you players that want to 
uh, go straight into the next level. Um, yeah, so none of the tutorial things happened in this level. That was only for level one. Let's go to level five, which is the uh, bonus bonus level, um, and see what that's about. So after some feedback, I got a request to have a bonus level. Maybe I can make that look a bit nicer. But bonus level where nothing's movable or these uh, there are converters placed on the board for you already. So um, I set it up that way. And even the troopers and the commandos, everything that you would normally be able to move is immovable. Uh, you can't reposition anything. Um, so it's good. It makes you think a bit differently about how to play the game. And I don't drop things here all willy-nilly anymore. Of course, I played this through a few times, so um, I have my first placement strategies, but um, even if you mess up a bit, you lose some of the power converters, um, you're still able to beat the game, uh, beat the level. It's nice. Um, a few mistakes won't hurt you, but a lot of mistakes will. Um, so I, I was really happy with being able to reach that. Something I found when playtesting this was that if I make the level longer, it's not fun for much longer since these uh, are for very long. These um, power converters are the most expensive thing, so if you're able to produce a lot of, of these troopers and blockers too. Um, I'll get a blocker out here soon. Uh, and then you kind of can fill up the board. So I, I shortened the length of this level from what I initially had it. Um, not a huge deal. But I did play around with that. Cool. So you've already seen the end game, so I won't finish the rest of this. But basically, this is immovable. This is the bonus level that I created. Um, and then for the final level, I'll just tap that real quick and show you, I suppose, the what it looks like if you lose. So I'll just not do anything. Um, so something that was coming up next uh, milestone was a boss fight. And I still have a number of things I'd like to do, like make the power converters grow. Um, it also seems... That the, so the reason I didn't pick a, a different enemy than these slimes or these... Uh, the little crawlers um, that don't have attack animations, which is unfortunate, uh, was because I was intending to use one of the other ones that did have all that as um, as the boss, because there are only two aliens left. So um, maybe I could get away with the slime and then just change the, the sprinter or the crawler to something different. Um, I, I wanted to mess around with that next milestone instead of creating a boss fight. I um, guess we can talk about how that will be. Also, I wanted to add a few different animations, like make an exploding animation for when those barrels explode, um, and, and some other things. And I, uh, I suppose we'll see what I have time for. So this blue sprinter in the middle lane. Uh, we'll probably get us the end game soon. Oh, something good to show you at the end of uh, the last level is that instead of hitting next level, you, it takes you, or the button says credits, and it takes you straight to credits. So, figured that was appropriate instead of um, instead of having the uh, the next level be there and not knowing what to do with that, right? So the retry button takes you back into level 8 and just restarts the whole thing again for you. Um, cool, I think that's all I wanted to demo uh, from these things. I had a few maybe minor other things that I have adjusted, but um, for the most part, uh, getting a lot closer. Um, and I, I've got a few more things to do with just making Smart look nicer and uh, adding a few more maybe small features, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it's how it's coming along now. and. Uh, Alright, I guess we'll hop into the code next. Thanks.
So here we are looking at the code, um, or at the uh, editor rather. Um, something I forgot to mention is, is per usual, um, about the uh, game is that this build bar is still here. That's an item, I just wanted to call it out. That's an item for next uh, milestone. So um, let me see what else is on the next milestone real quick. Uh, build bar, the boss fight I talked about earlier, uh, making blockers attack because they, they don't. Then I added a, or I will add a melee attack for them, um, and then removing the build bar so that you can either tap and then tap a tile to place them there, or drag them and uh, drop them there. So that's my plan to allow both of those um, actions, but let's get into the code for this milestone for now. So the tutorial I have quite a bit going on, but I mean, it's really not all that complicated. Um, it basically operates similar to a state machine, but a very, uh, a state machine with very few states. Um, so essentially a, a basic move, it waits for the, basically it checks if all the enemy, if there are any enemies on the board. If there are ever zero enemies on the board, it checks which state it's currently in and then reacts and sets up the next state, right? Um, which is nice because I, I didn't have to go and modify any of the other game objects to say, okay, when it's tutorial, special case, special case, special case, I was able to do most of the things from here, which I wanted to not make it too complicated for the rest of the game and maybe introduce uh, some bugs, you know, during normal gameplay, which would not have been good. Um, so, essentially, there's no... Uh, if the enemy's uh, gone, create a new enemy, and then create, um, where are you? Uh, create a power converter and make it immovable. When the next enemy, when, you're, when we're in the overclock uh, tutorial part where you have to drag them onto the red tile, um, I, re I remove the immovable uh, power converter part so you can then move them around like you would be able to during any part of the game normally. Um, these are just setups, and this is setting the barrels on and off. So we didn't. I didn't want the barrels to be there during the tutorial. If they didn't get it, I didn't want a barrel to save them. Uh, so if for some reason they're still not. I don't. I don't get that. I need to drag this trooper into the lane to stop it. I just don't get that. So if that was them, I didn't want the barrel to. You know, kill it for them. Um, I'd rather send them back and you know have them read all of the instruction screen again and then try the tutorial, the tutorial over. Um, okay, so move on from that. End game script. This is what uh, manages the menu at the end of the game. Um, Basically, it looks so. This persisting object is keeping track of what level we're on, and it's set in the uh, in the level screen. And that way, the the game scene knows what to do per the level. It reads the level and makes different decisions based off of which level it is. One of those is uh, the spawning script. So this is broken down what should what should spawn through each level. Special five, or sorry, level five is special. So I create a bunch of immovable power converters, and then I think down here. No, I, I do the other heroes some somewhere else. I create, I make them immovable. I think in the maybe in the build bench now, or maybe the the builder IDs. I forget. Um, but. This is a, a case of what I'm talking about when I say the, the level script. Anyway, um, so go to next level. Uh, if you can't find it, which you should be able to, but just for safety, go to the level screen and then choose from there. Um, just in case of you know handling for a crash or being stuck somewhere. Um, re uh, so retry is just reactivating the scene or reloading the same scene going again. If you go to the next level, you increment the level by one and then go to the same scene. So it's basically just reloading and either choosing the same level number or not. Um, I won't go through too much more of this. I think I explained a lot of it 
in the um, gameplay video. Um, but yes, this is milestone eight of Overclock. One milestone to go, and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, thanks.